Without a Roof here with Heather Island and she works with folks without roofs in, in Auburn. She had some wonderful things to say about this refugee camp here in Chico for the, the campfire evacuees. Yeah, so I came up here from Auburn and uh, there's a lot of folks here that, you know, have lost everything in the in the fires and the Paradise Fire and, and just this horrible fires going on. and. And it's wonderful to see the outreach, you know, the people that are caring about these folks. And, um, you know, this isn't the first time that we've had cities, tent cities sprouting up because of a natural disaster. Um, and what I would like to put forth to the public is, first of all, thank you for all of the caring hearts that care about these people that have lost so much. But keep in mind that this is how homelessness happens. And so there's many people that may, you know, your hearts, people's hearts may go out to them today, but a year from now when these people are the ones that are still homeless and, you know, they're being told by authorities, you know, move on, uh, we have anti-camping ordinances, etc. And a lot of people lose patience and we forget, we forget that, you know, that the homeless are not homeless because they're all derelicts or you know or drug addicts or criminals or whatever it is that people um, say that they often are you know they're people that start out very frequently just like this so my question is I mean my my hope is that every one of these people get back into a home but you know there's going to be many people that are not so easily going to get back into a home and I hope that people will remember a year from now you know um, that these are people that have suffered tragedies and when you see them on the street homeless a year from now that we don't turn their turn our backs on them then and that's pretty much what I have to say about that